Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of days, I've been posting and keeping you updated that after upgrading to the Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update that rolled out last week, there have been numerous reports from users who have NVIDIA graphics cards of performance issues like frame rate drops, stuttering and lower CPU usage in games after upgrading and updating to the latest Windows 11 feature update. Now, as I mentioned in the video I posted yesterday, NVIDIA had released a GeForce Experience beta update, which was version 3.26 uh, to fix uh, these issues. And they had also mentioned that the non-beta version, the stable version of the uh, GeForce Experience was expected to roll out and go live uh, later on this week and that would be with a new geforce game ready driver now once again just a quick video to keep you updated and let you know that nvidia has now released its latest game ready windows uh, driver earlier today on the 27th of september 2022 and that's version 517.48 now this new driver package um, they also mentioned brings the uh, latest GeForce Experience version 3.26.0.131, which now will hopefully fix all those various performance related issues uh, that have been on the NVIDIA based systems um, that um, were running the new Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update that rolled out last week, as mentioned. Now, um, I will leave a link uh, in the description where you can come download this latest uh, game ready driver and um, the release highlights um, just to go through these quickly they say the game ready drivers provide the best possible gaming experience for all major new releases and uh, just on a side note here we can see that it's game ready for overwatch 2 in case you are interested and um, if you don't want to download the driver manually you can also use your current geforce experience app and that will also help you to download this latest driver version 517.48 so just wanted to keep you updated that this latest game ready driver is now available which now hopefully will address those performance issues with the new windows 11 version 22h2 feature update once and for all so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one